Let's talk about the year-end closing entry in your QuickBooks software. It can sound intimidating, but don't worry, QuickBooks does it for you automatically. The year-end closing entry closes the income statement and opens up a brand new income statement the first day of the year. In other words, at the end of the year, we take all of our income and expense accounts, zero them out, and take the, da the balance or the difference to retained earnings. To demonstrate this, let's come into Rock Castle Construction and let's look at a balance sheet on the last day of the year. Rock Castle Construction is on a fiscal year. Their year ends on 930. Here's the balance sheet as of the last day of the year. Their net income is 76 726. Let's also pull up an income statement for the last fiscal year. We'll see the same number down here at the bottom. Now, Let's look at an income statement and a balance sheet for the first day of the next year, which would be October 1st, 2003. Let's just change this to a 3 and move this forward by one day. Let's refresh and now we see for our first day of the year we had a loss of 69.13. Let's do the same thing with our balance sheet. Let's look at our balance sheet as of the first day of the year. Same number. See, we closed out that $76,000 number here into retained earnings. QuickBooks did this for us automatically. So if we tried to search for that entry through the general journal entries, we wouldn't find it because it's an automatic behind the scenes entry. And that's the year-end closing entry.